up guys Travis Travis J Outdoors on today's how-to video I'm gonna be going over my bow fishing setup so I've had a few people ask you know what is you know your setup when it comes to bow fishing so this is my bow this is a reflex bow that I use so I also use an AMS uh, bottle reel rig so as you can see here it's got the bottle right there sorry it's a little dirty from bow fishing but got that right here is where the arrow kind of sits in kind of holds it right there now I'll be honest my rig's been through some tough times it's sunk to the bottom of the lake so it's missing I've had to rig it a little bit so right down here I have a little actually a little piece of zip tie holding this together normally there's a nut right there I could probably find a nut on this place but so I have this set up I'm also one of those good old cheap people that don't want to buy a super expensive bow light so I actually have this light right here and I have rigged it <laughs> as you can see with a bunch of zip ties to my bow it works just fine honestly like I I see all these people with the fancy bow lights but I have this really nice light right here and it works great this is an anchor flashlight if anybody's interested I actually got this off Amazon super bright awesome battery life it is rechargeable uh, this thing will last me We'll go out at night and we'll be out there for six, seven hours. This ain't gonna last the whole time. I don't have a problem with it. So, I definitely recommend it if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a bow light. These things are like 25 bucks off Amazon. It's great. Uh, right here is arrow rest. As you can see, it's a roller. So, for bow fishing, you gotta have the roller. It makes your life a lot easier. So, as you see, pull off the arrow. Right here, the orange line, it's a little frayed. I need to replace it again. My bow is seeing a rough life. Uh, this is 200 pound test braided line. So, these arrows I get from a local bait store. I honestly can't tell you what they're called, but I love them. They're great. As you see here, they have the spin top. As you spin the points off, the barbs will flip off where you can get your fish off. These points are also, these part completely comes off. And you see it's got the stopper back here for the slider. It's got the knock. So as you for this clarification for those that don't know how to bow fish, take the bow, you slide it on here, and you see that roller help it. Come back here. I like using finger grips, some people don't, but Oh, let me tell you, finger grips will keep your fingers from being torn up at the end of a bow fishing day. So I highly recommend them. Uh, they're super cheap. I mean, you can get them at most places for like five bucks a thing. So get them on there, set the reel, pull that line in, take it. Now make sure you adjust the bow to your pull strengths. So I pull it back. Make sure you gotta have it set to where you can hold it back for an extended amount of time. Not super long, but just enough. If you can't hold it back for a good amount of time, then it's too much. So I have it where I can hold it. So as you see there, let it off easy. Never dry fire. Don't do that because what can happen is your string up here will jump off the cans. And if you don't know how to fix that, you're going to take the bow shot and have it done. Like me, I don't know how to do it. But, <laughs> uh, but this is kind of my bow fishing rig. But uh, we're done with arrow. Kind of light up, pop it back in there, I'll hold her there. Put line tight. But this is my bow fishing rig setup. If anybody's interested in bow fishing, uh, I mean, feel free to hit us up. I'm always happy to kind of, if you want to join us on an adventure, go out and learn a little bit. I'm happy to kind of teach you about how to do all that. But till next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep it real.